but I will struggle to bend its course. We managed to save Bakugo, and I headed home. I should probably see what my old man is up to, given what a scene he was making earlier. Let's begin! After saving Bakugo, we took him to talk to the police. Then it took half a day to get home from Kaminoku. I kept wondering, what impact would All Might's retirement have? Who would be the number one hero now? There you are, Shoto! I was afraid something had happened to you. You could have at least responded to some of my messages, you know. At least you're okay. So, uh... Dad's been in a mood since he got back. You should go see him. Watch it. You're going to demolish our house. <sighs> Shoto! Get over here. We should talk. Final round! Ready? Clash! I'm sure you've heard. That fool's no longer the top hero, which means he's number two. No, I can't accept this. It wasn't supposed to be this way! Not that! Then say, it's your turn? What a ridiculous warning to criminals. What was he thinking? My entire life, I've tried to close the gap between me and All Might. And now, he's done. But I should have earned his spot by beating him, not because he failed. And now, I'm sure the League of Villains will make a move. But Criminals will come out of hiding. Yes, Ultra! A loss is a loss. Win! I can't stop. I won't stop. Amazing. New story! Right. Of course. Another rant from my old man. How many of those have I heard? Although, he did seem pretty emotional this time. Well, I suppose... In the end, he's just trying to do what he thinks is best. Just wait. I'll reach the top in my own way. I've always risked so much for my dream. Gotta pay a visit. I've always risked so much for my dream. Of course my mom was worried sick about me. I'm sorry, Mom. But I have to do this. Let's begin! After the Kaminoku incident, UA decided to move its hero students on campus. Given everything that had happened, it was for our own protection. But before we could start packing our bags, the school needed consent from everyone's guardians, so the teachers did home visits. Before I knew it, All Might was at my house! I'll be frank with you. Ever since enrolling at UA, my baby just keeps getting hurt. I won't allow Izuku to move into the dorms. I shouldn't have been surprised. I'd been ignoring my mother's feelings for so long. How many times has she seen me bloody and broken after fighting villains? But still... Look, Mom! All Might, you too! At the hospital, I got this letter thanking me. It's from Koda. He's the boy I saved at the training camp, and this made me feel like a real hero. That's what I'm meant to be, so I won't stop. That means I'll keep training, even if I'm not at UA. Listening to you, I can tell you're on your own path. Not just following in my footsteps. That's good. And I know 
that learning from heroes will help you achieve your goals. So please, ma'am. I believe the young Izuku is the right person to succeed me. He is my choice to become the world's next symbol of peace. So please, will you allow me to devote myself to helping your son? We will go beyond. I will walk beside him and lift him up. Even if it costs me my life, I swear, I'll protect him. No. All Might, you are Izuku's reason for living. So don't give up your life. He needs you to raise him and keep him safe. If you can promise me you'll do that, then he can return to UA. I promise you. Your idol is impressed with you. I'm sure that's one of the happiest things that's ever happened to you. But listen, if you're staying at UA, you have to keep out of trouble. Izuku, be careful. I will. I won't make you worry. I've always risked. Gotta pay a visit to Jiro's and Bakugo's homes. I hope their parents give me permission. Let's begin! In order to better explain the dorm system, namely how it would help protect the students, <sighs> All Might and I went door to door. Next stop was Jiro's home. I hope that you'll give us the honor of continuing to teach Kyoka. I believe wholeheartedly that UA can help her become the best possible hero. No need to lay it on so thick. We've already made up our minds. My dad thought All Might's battle was totally rocking. I even think he got a little teary-eyed. Anyway, we're down. You know, uh, I thought the parents would come down on us a lot harder. I suppose you're part of the reason they're not, so, uh, thank you, All Might. <laughs> Knock it off, this isn't like you. Besides, I have a feeling the next family won't be an easy sell. This visit might be rough. Yo, young Bakugo. How thoughtful of you to wait for us outside. All Might. I gotta know. Don't lie. What exactly is Deku to you? I'm sorry, young Bakugo. But that's something I just can't tell you. He's my student, just like you, a fledgling hero with bright prospects. I figured you wouldn't tell me the truth. In that case, I'll just have to force the answer out of you. Don't waste your breath with such an illogical threat. As you can see, All Might is seriously hurt. If you're looking for a fight, I'll be your opponent. All Might, stay behind me. Final round! Ready? Clash! Aizawa? There's no... Yeah, I know. I'll take it easy on him. Especially since we're at his home. So slow. Kick him down! Yeah! Take this! Not this time. Pop quiz. I can't restrain myself. It's a numbers game. Damn it. No use. So forceful! Uh, kick your sky high! Just Shut as predicted. Up. Melee. I can't restrain myself. I'm not finished with you. Perfect. So slow. What? Got to aim for the weak point. Yeah! I could have dodged it! Clear as day. Glass oh. Ultra! My admiration was wrong. Win! It is illogical to resist. Amazing. You don't want to tell me that badly, huh? Whatever. Come inside. Kotsky, what have you done now? You causing trouble for your teachers? Why else would they be doing home visits? 
Out with it. What have you gotten into? Um. Oh, this is about the whole on-campus living thing? Hell yeah, get this kid in a dorm room. I think Yue really understands who Kotsky is at his core. He is a hot-tempered brat. But please, train this giant pain and make him a good hero. We talked about Bakugo being a hero at the press conference. I guess thanks to that, his mother trusts us to teach him. From now on, we teachers will not just be mentors for our students, but protectors too. To really take care of them. Gotta pay a visit to... It's only the first day at the dorms, and you're already being annoying. Hey, dumbass, come here! Let's begin! In mid-August, I packed my bags and moved out. I'd now be living in the dorms along with my classmates. Our building was called Heights Alliance, located on the edge of UA's campus about a five-minute walk from the main school. Given everything that's happened recently, I'm glad our class is here safely. Now then, I'll explain how your dorm assignments will work shortly. But first, this is important. Listen well. Todoroki, Kirishima, Midoriya, Yayorozu, Ida. You five are the ones who broke the rules and went to rescue Bakugo that night. Ribbit? As for the rest of you, I assume you were at least aware of their plan. Normally, you'd all be expelled. You betrayed the trust of your teachers. Even if it was to keep your friends from getting into trouble, they could have died. I hope each of you understands that. However, we can't kick out students while the League is out there. Who knows what they could be plotting next. So, in order to regain our confidence, you'll need to obey our every rule and live as model students. Got it? Now, look alive. Enjoy your new home. Wait, that's it? Pretty crappy pep talk. We're like disappointments. I feel so lame. Dumbass, come here! Huh? Wait, why? What's up? Final round! Ready? Ready? I'll test you! Get lost! From above! Feel the shot! What a pain! What was that again? I'll blast you! I'll crush you! All the way! It's just begun! Your weakness is so obvious! Shaking your boots! Yeah! I'll just fall up and cry! This is just for explode! Loser! I'm not changing my plan! Die already! Class Ultra! Win! Come on! Let me enjoy this a bit! Amazing! <laughs> Man, what was that for? He's fried, Bakugo! You losers all sounded depressed. It was getting annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a moron. You're so helpless. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at this idiot and move on. I guess sometimes it's good to blow off steam. Time to judge who has Time to judge who has the coolest room. I want to see some impressive interior design, you guys. That's what it's going to take to be crowned Room King. Let's begin. Each student dorm holds one class. Girls are on the right and boys are on the left. 
The first floor is a common area. That's where you'll find your kitchen, baths, and laundry rooms. Doth my earth deceive me? Our baths are located in the common area? Is this heaven? So spacious and pretty! Ooh, look at that sofa! Your rooms have already been assigned. The belongings you sent ahead have already been placed in your new spaces. Spend the day unpacking and getting settled. I'll tell you more about your next lessons tomorrow. And Minetta, the baths are not co-ed. I warn you, you will behave yourself. It's weird. I know we could have died, but it's kind of exciting to be living here. Hey, boys. Are you done unpacking? Because if so, I think we should have a contest. The girls and I were thinking we should vote to see who has the coolest room. <laughs> Good idea. Come to mind, girls. I've got so much stuff to show you. We'll crown a winner and everything. Now, any volunteers to go first? I will not be ignored! This isn't fair! Start with me! Final round! Ready? Ready? Clash! I promise, you'll have fun in my bed chamber! Gross! Katrina! Hey! Got it! Scatter for a bath! You lost your nerve! Please stop making that drool face. Yeah. <sighs> Just a peek. Please! Ew! Uh, stay away from me! Yeah. Uh, flexible! You lost your nerve? Go around! Go around! Drop! Like the rain! Let go! I will not it's lose! It's stuck! Drop! <laughs> Power mount! Eat it! <laughs> Damn it! So I could be popular! I'll hang in there! Sticky with maximum acidity! With all my heart! Ah! <laughs> 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 And so, at Ashido's suggestion, we all decided to judge the rooms we barely moved into. First off, everyone headed to... What? Uh, no! Uh, that one's mine! Hold on! It's not ready! Please don't! Wait! Whoa! It's all might everywhere! Jeez, you're such a fanboy! It's amazing! This is so much fun! Whose room is next? You're up next, class rep! Whoa, you've got so many glasses! Do you really need all these, Ida? Kirishima, your room is... Uh, let's just say I don't understand what some boys call decorating. Sato, your room smells so good! Did you just now bake that adorable cake? Delicious! What? Why is Tokoyami's room so scary? And why do you have swords? Dang! Todoroki's room is so traditional. Are those floor mats? Did you have this place remodeled? And Aoyama. Oh, uh, yeah. Makes sense. I know I'm next, but this is kind of embarrassing. Cool! This is totally punk rock! Can you play all of these instruments? Let's see Ashido's room. It's super cute! And Yayurozu's room? Oh, that furniture looks expensive! Hagakure's room! <gasps> oh, it's ultra! Has everyone got their votes in? Remember, you can't pick yourself for this, guys! And now, without further ado, here are the results of the first Best Room Competition! With a total of five votes, the overwhelming winner of this totally awesome contest is... Drum roll! Rikido Sato! By the way, all the girls voted for you. 
We couldn't get enough of that yummy cake. <laughs> you villain! Aspiring heroes shouldn't resort to bribery! That's so not fair! <laughs> this is great. You guys never change. My heart was hurting. And what I said must have upset you. But it made me so sad to be without you. I'm really sorry. Let's begin! The room contest turned out to be pretty interesting. Especially since Sato was the unexpected winner. Not everyone got to experience the excitement, though. Later on, some of us got called outside. Todoroki, Deku, Ida, and you too, Kirishima and Yaoyorozu. Do you have a second? Sue wants to talk. It's really important. The thing is, you guys know I'm pretty straightforward. But sometimes, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss. After Bakugo was taken by the villains, we were told not to go after him. So I knew your rescue attempt would break the rules. I wasn't sure what to say to you. So I hardened my heart and tried to speak my mind, no matter how hard that was. I said if you went against our teacher's wishes, you'd be acting like villains, not heroes. I was hurting inside. But I'm sure hearing that hurt all of you, too. Despite my warning, you still went and saved Bakugo. I didn't know that until this morning. I thought I'd stopped you, but I'm a complete failure, and I felt betrayed by my classmates. I didn't think I deserved to joke around and have fun with everyone like usual, and it, it made me so sad to be alone. That's why... Even if I'm still not sure how I'm supposed to be feeling, I... I wanted to tell you this so we could be friends again. It's not just you who feels that way. Everyone has been upset. We all want to get back to normal. Honest. This is so complicated, but let's do our best. We'll train really hard and be good friends again. I know we can do it. So... I'm sorry! Thanks for telling us how you feel! With that, we all had a new set of aspirations. To be heroes, that part didn't change. But also, to regroup, to trust each other, and to get back to everyday lives. Training for ultimate moves! My heart was hurting, and what I said must...